Jack Mann made a huge impact on the Australian wine industry while at Horton, and he continues to do so through his winemaking children. I'm about to have lunch with four generations of Jack's family at his daughter Corin's winery, Lamont's. Encouraged by her father, Corin set up Lamont's 30 years ago, and in the beginning, Dad was there to guide her. When we started to make wine here at Le Mans, our relationship really developed. Ah. Because, of course, um, you know, being the only girl with three brothers, women didn't really count for much, did they? And they certainly uh, you weren't... taught them. They weren't in the wine industry at all. So that opportunity that was given to me, uh, working with my father, was just absolutely fantastic. Yes. <laughs> Corin's brother, Dorham, also makes wine under the man label. <laughs> In the same year that his dad passed away, Durham discovered a small vine seedling in his garden, which at first resembled Cabernet Sauvignon. Sally, my wife, noticed it had a Cabernet leaf. Cabernet's got a very distinctive leaf shape. Yep. And that was the reason that she left it there for a bit of fun, just to see, uh, really, from my point of view, how closely it might resemble Cabernet Sauvignon. Big surprise, a couple of years later, when I discovered it was a white grape and, and not a red grape. This genetic mutation now has its own patent and is called Signe Blanc. A vineyard in South Australia has also been licensed to grow it and Dorham hopes the cooler climate will produce a great still white wine. And he reckons that old Jack is up there still looking after his kids. He admired Cabernet above all varieties because of its wonderful refinement. And uh, he often said to people that Cabernet is the only variety that would be tolerated in heaven. An amazing coincidence that the year that he died was the year this seedling appeared in the, in the garden. 